Dev go grab my nigga Tiny uh, merch, you feel me? Um, so I gotta ask y'all some shit. It's some, uh, this nigga Trev, he, he was speaking on the Russell. Y'all seen that shit? Yeah, that's yeah crazy, shout out Trev. I just sent them. I just, that's crazy you said that. Dev, shout out my nigga Trev. I just, BBC I just all that. <laughs> so, today. So what y'all think? Did you see, did y'all see, you see when uh, the white girl doing that? The little white girl? The white girl, you talking about uh, Lotto Mama? Nah, nah. Oh, uh, what up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? You seen that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That. Oh yeah. The little girl performing. Fire, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's fire. So I told, I sent to, I sent Trevor this, and told him keep the Russell name out of his mouth. No. Uh -huh. He put, you know, that's he put you funny man. That's that was tight. But I just say that to say that the Russell, he he got his own lane. Like that nigga, you you can't find too many rappers. Rapping positivity or something like that that you got the kids reciting they shit. Let alone the white girl. You know what I'm saying? Like just just that vision right there alone just lets you know that La Russell for sure is on to something. Yeah, he definitely on to something. That's what I was like, that's what I was trying to ask y'all right now. Like, do y'all think that uh artists gotta do all that content stuff and just everything that he doing in order to stand and mix and build relevancy and shit and rap? I feel like if you don't have a machine behind you where it's going to be done for you anyways, yeah. Yeah, me too. Because a lot of the bigger artists, they can be at home for like, shit, they can take off for like two or three months, low key. But the machines working on so many platforms and, re you know what I mean, repurposing a lot of that the shit. Mix. They still, yeah. So all he's doing is replace, he's doing the work of a machine, which is not easy. Mm. So, uh, yeah, that's nothing. It's only can salute it. I, I get how somebody can look at it and say, you doing too much, but like, what's too much? At what point are you stopping them saying, all right, that's too much? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I feel like when you just see them going crazy, now you're like, it's too much because you can't fathom yourself doing that. Mm -hmm. That's what I feel like. You can't fathom yourself doing that, in that at that capacity. And, yeah, and that's I feel it. like uh, at the end of the Not day, capacity, like, but, uh, it's going to be a time. You know, I, right. I feel like it's going to be a time where he don't have to do that, La Russell. I feel like he going to eventually make it to where the machine doing it for him or he ain't got to be as on Instagram or doing shit like that. But until that time comes, I feel like that's perfect for Cud. Like, he he found this niche, how more people, because I wouldn't have never heard of Cud unless he was doing this shit. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And then once I uh, seen him at the TDE Christmas event, that made me, like, a fan. Like I'm Yeah, like, he went crazy at the TDE event. Yeah, he Sorry. went crazy. I'm he went like, crazy. Again, I like... Like that showed me if you a good artist or not, like your performance. That I rate that a lot. Like you can have a tight song, but then if you can't perform that song, that's why Yearn, when Q perform Yearn, it's like that's a hard song to perform. Like, yeah. Hey, I, I got the lyrics and I still can't God damn what it that would it be like. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So if you could perform a song like that, or if you could perform, that make me even more of a fan. And when I went to the T D E shit, La Russell, he was all in the crowd. He went crazy. He had that shit going. I'm like, yeah, cut tight. All right. Like, uh, Ty just, he got to get that machine behind him. Yeah, or he don't, shit. He working, it, he working that shit right now. How he doing it? You get what I'm saying? But he def building up leverage for his, uh, whenever he do decide to get that machine behind him, though, for shit show. So, shout out to Russell. I think that's a, uh, that's, that's low-key the blueprint for all independent artists right now, man. That's how, that's how you got to apply the pressure if you want to get in that mix or to stand out from everybody else, like, outside of having good music. You feel me? So yeah, he know what he got to, and I feel he's doing supposed to outside of that. Though. Yeah, cause his best song might be on his third project. Yeah. But he, he put it out at such a high of a volume. Some of his best shit could get lost. You know, I get that. The content can be up, but the music might not be there on this project. Yeah. But the content is. Uh, so I I get the argument of motherfuckers saying like his music they feel like it i don't know it's a hard argument though because i say he's selling hard tickets and he's not getting marketed by like he's self-marketed you know what i'm saying he just kind of used his infrastructure mm -hmm. uh i don't know he's got a different situation man I, that's dope i feel like any artist especially west coast if they start doing that more kind of like what i was telling chike that day and it was like no nah, i'm not about to do too many songs he said he was saying Doing too many shows in the city is not cool. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, that's crazy. If they if they're willing to show up 
Like, you know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah, I get that. I get that angle too, though. Motherfuckers really take, uh, it's like uh, Usher out there. What's that called? Residency? Residency. Yeah, it's like, uh, shit, you know, whatever. I might do a 300, but I got a yeah, residency. They like, wouldn't show up every two weeks for me or whatever. Like, I'm dope. in here. We, we going crazy. And it's similar to the Russell doing that shit in his backyard. That's, that's all it is. Yeah. So it's like, that's can't be too, too, we are too cool. We've been saying that. We are too cool. cool. No, I'm not too cool. <clears throat> but that's crazy, though, actually, though. That's, uh, that's a bar. I didn't understand it that time you said it, but this right here, he put it in perspective right now. Though. I yeah. That's wild. Yeah, that's a whole different outlook right there, though, nigga, because it could be a whole different set of groups coming in every time. What? It's, it's like, and it's theater, though. It's like literally the Air Force right now. Yeah, Do I that. that. It's just now it boils down to your squad and your vision as a leader to curate those spaces where people come to know just keep coming back. Mm. The only thing that really plagues us is... The show might just, you know, it might be cracking. He might be a cracking artist, but that one show just was bullshit outside the whole experience or inside. You know, it's crazy what I think of. It was a club back in the day. Like, what I'm thinking of right now, it's like, say if uh, niggas would just throw an event at the Roxy every week or whatever, some bullshit, whatever the case. But we have an artist come through or some shit. It just reminded me of um, this club niggas used to go to back in the day, and they just have all the underground L.A. artists just pulling up, doing that thing, like Dom Kennedy's scheme. I just everybody and shit, so that, that'd be dope if it was that kind of scene, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that'd be Get dope. Get that back. Yeah, yeah. Nah, for sure. It's needed. It's needed. It's just yeah, that's be, missing. That it got to be man for real. It, it can't yeah. fall into the, oh, okay, I'm about to just keep letting my people in here. No, we're going to keep curating, you know what I'm saying, the yeah. best crowd and having the best experience for people to pull up. If people feel, feel safe, they pulling up. That just is what it is. They feel safe and they can have a good time to go, it's good, for sure. A lot of these spots... It be like just hot money grabs. Yeah, yeah, it ain't gonna, it shouldn't be that. <clears throat> nah, yeah. niggas, uh, we gotta put some shit together and start doing some shit. Yeah. For sure. Hell yeah, man. Shout out to the chat, man. Would y'all pull up on us? We gonna start throwing some shit for y'all niggas, man. And start y'all just pull up, catch a vibe. Probably have an artist come through, perform a couple songs. <clears throat> some shit like that. Some kickback shit, though. You dig? That's uh, like make, make sure y'all get y'all tickets. Uh, Drebo show on the 20th. Hey, shout out my nigga Drebo. Hosted by your boy. 